In this video, I'll show you how you can create a macro that will allow you to toggle light sources on and off. Now the macro itself is just going to automate setting some properties on a particular token. So let's turn the light on and have a look at the properties they're being set. Okay, so for starters, I'm having the token emit light in a 15 foot radius with about 10 feet of dim. So uh, I'm using a flashlight here and you think about a flashlight, the parts closest to you are bright and it gets dimmer the further away you go from the light source. And I'm having the light being emitted in a 70 degree angle. So instead of like a torch in D&D &D where the light's emitted equally all around you, the flashlight's just emitting light in a narrow beam. And I'm setting the all players see light setting on and we're making sure that the character itself, the player in this case, has sight. Okay, so we'll click Save Changes. All right, so that's got our light on. Now, to automate this, we're going to create a macro that's going to take advantage of an API script called Token Mod. And that script is part of the standard Roll20 API library. Um, I've got another video down below that talks about how to install scripts if you don't know how to do it. But you need token mod installed there. And then once you have token mod installed, you can create a macro that looks like this. And I'm going to put the code for this macro down in the uh, notes as well. But basically what we're seeing here is, okay, we're calling token mod. We're setting stuff. We're, we're setting a value. And we're saying set light has sight to yes. So that's the uh, has sight property. We're turning that on. Light other players pipe yes. That's turning on the all players see light setting. The light angle we're saying is 70 degrees. The light radius is 15 feet. And the light dim radius is 10. So that's going to automatically set all those properties that I just showed you in the token itself. And then finally, we want to check this box, show as token action. And what that's going to do is when you click on the token itself, the flashlight on button, which is what I've named this macro, is going to show up up top here. If you want your players to be able to toggle flashlights or torches on automatically, make sure you select all players here in the visible to players field. Now, we also want to be able to turn that off so I've got a flashlight off macro and you'll notice this is also calling token mod and basically what this is doing is setting the light radius to zero so that's the same thing it's set as a token action I've made it so that all players can use it and so now a player can come in here they can turn the flashlight off they can turn the flashlight on and just so you can kind of see what that looks like if we press control L to turn on the player view uh, flashlight off they don't see anything flashlight on they see that radius now they can click on the little grabber icon right here and pan and that'll let them see the things around them so this is nice you know I'm doing a pulp Cthulhu game here and so now my players can actually really get in and it feels like they're more investigating a haunted house or something because they don't see everything they don't get that uniform pocket of light that you would get if you were just doing a 360 degree view of, of the light so I think this makes a, a really nice atmosphere type enhancement to your games my players have all uh, said they thought this was really cool and that they really liked it so I wanted to pass this on to you folks now of course you can do this you know keep it at 360 degrees or just clear this out and it'll automatically set to 360 and that gives you the the pool of light that you're probably used to um, that's fine if you are using an actual torch rather than a flashlight um, but this bit where we can change the angle really kind of helps make this more realistic, I think. And like I said, it makes it a little more immersive. And if you think your players will like it, then go for it. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.